Hey everyone, welcome back to Water Watch. In today's video, we're taking a look at the latest reservoir levels across California after the recent atmospheric river moved through the region. These storms have brought significant rain and snowfall to the state, and many reservoirs have seen noticeable increases in water levels. We'll be going over the current reservoir elevations, how full they are, and how they compare to historical averages for this time of year. Let's dive into the numbers and see how the recent storms have impacted the water levels. Starting with Lake Shasta, the state's largest reservoir, it currently sits at 1,049 feet in elevation and is 86% full, which is 130% of its historical average for this time of year. Since November 18th, Lake Shasta has risen 64 feet, showing a significant increase after the recent storms delivered a direct shot of major precipitation to the area. This is a great sign for water storage in the region. Next, we have Lake Oroville. Currently, the lake is at 859 feet in elevation, 82% full, and 135% of its historical average. Since November 18th, it's up 104 feet, making it one of the bigger increases in this list. Oroville's improvement is a welcome sign for those in the northern part of the state. Moving to Trinity Lake, it's currently at 2,340 feet in elevation, 81% full, and 126% of its historical average. Since November 18th, Trinity Lake has risen 29 feet. Although the rise is a bit smaller compared to others, it's still a positive development for water storage in this area. New Maloney's Lake is sitting at 1,041 feet in elevation and is 78% full, with 134% of the historical average for this time of year. Since November 18th, New Maloney's has gone up 6 feet, but it's still holding strong above average. Over at San Luis Reservoir, the current elevation is 505 feet, with the lake 77% full, which is 102% of the historical average. Since November 18th, San Luis has risen 47 feet. This increase has definitely helped improve the reservoir's water storage heading into the new year. Now let's take a look at Don Pedro Reservoir. It's sitting at an elevation of 775 feet, 69% full, and 97% of the historical average for this time of year. Since November 18th, it's only risen one foot, showing a slower increase compared to some other reservoirs in the state. Next up is Lake Berryessa, which is currently above full pool. A great sign that the recent rains have helped this reservoir significantly. The current elevation is 441 feet, and it's definitely performing well compared to average levels. Heading to Folsom Lake, it's at 410 feet in elevation and only 44% full, which is 95% of the historical average for this time of year. Folsom has been lagging behind, and with just a small increase in water levels recently, it remains significantly below average. Looking at McClure Reservoir, it's currently at 804 feet in elevation, 63% full, and 131% of its historical average. McClure has seen a solid rise of about 7 feet since November 18th, reflecting a good response to the recent rain. Finally, we have Pine Flat Lake, which is at 847 feet in elevation, 49% full, and 117% of the historical average. Like some of the others, Pine Flat has seen a decent increase in recent weeks, but it's still below half full. So, while we've seen some really positive gains in reservoirs like Lake Oroville and Lake Shasta, others, like Folsom Lake and Don Pedro, still have some catching up to do. The good news is that the recent storms have provided a much-needed boost, 
and these reservoirs are in much better shape than they were just a few weeks ago. In addition to the reservoir updates, let's take a quick look at the snowpack data for California as this will impact the spring runoff that ends up in the reservoirs. The Northern Sierra Trinity region is currently at 76% of its April 1st average and 118% of the historical average for this time of year, which is looking solid. However, the Central Sierra is at 45% of its April 1st average and 69% of the historical average, indicating a weaker snowpack. Even more concerning, the Southern Sierra is at just 31% of its April 1st average and 48% of the historical average for this time of year, which could lead to challenges in water availability if these numbers don't improve significantly as we move through the rest of the winter season. Looking ahead though, the forecast is calling for February to continue to have above average precipitation, so it'll be important to keep an eye on how these reservoirs and snowpack change toward the end of the month. Let's hope the forecast holds and for more storms to boost the snowpack as we move through the winter season. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Water Watch. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on California's reservoirs and water conditions. Let me know in the comments how the weather has been in your area, and I'll see you in the next video.